Hey everybody, my name is LeBron Arnwine. And I'm Jessica Height. And welcome to The, the Journey. Journey. Uh, we're going down memory lane. There's a song that is called <laughs> Locking Eyes. This is in the whole project that we did with You Never Give Up, The Faithfuls, uh, the other music that you might have heard already. This was 2015. 15, so this was eight years ago now. But Jessica brought a song to me <laughs> called Locking Eyes. And I don't even know how you described it. Did you say you wanted it to be like a certain way? I or? said I wanted it to be like the vibe. Uh, probably not like that, but I said I wanted to feel different. Yeah, not cause, cause the word vibe on thing wasn't. It wasn't really big. Yet. So this one is going to be more geared toward the producers. If you just got your first DAW, whatever you're using, if you just got your first couple sounds, whatever. My mentor told me, uh, James Magic, he said, work with what you have. Find out how to make everything you have work. There's no sense in going out and buying a whole bunch of stuff and you already don't know how to use the stuff that you already have. Hone your craft first. Would that be the same for like garage band versus lot? Like if that's yeah. all you have. If it's all you have, make it work. I on purpose at uh, one time recorded like a like a, a instrumental track in garage band just to prove to some people like, hey, listen, if it's all you have, you can still make good music. I think I did it on an airplane. I had like a little 14 key MIDI controller. And I'm just making little sounds and beats and stuff using garage band sounds you know before this all i had ever done was like live instrumentation things but when it came to programming the only thing i had done up till then was like make loops like little hand claps and shakers and you know shakers. percussion things Them you know shakers I mean? yeah I, I love a shaker. she hates shakers in her tracks I like, like oh. all i had was the sounds i had okay that's all i had and I can look back now and I can be proud like, man, like, man the growth, but uh, you're about to hear a song called Locking Eyes. Do you want to say anything about the song first before we get into it? I was going for like not too many lyrics. I think it repeats the same verse, same chorus. And I didn't even have a bridge. I don't think I had one at all. Oh, yeah. He wrote the bridge. Again, but using her words already. Again, recycling the topic, the yeah. words, the key phrases, and making, I think it's the same lines. Yeah. It's just different melody, right. spread out, little looser. Yeah. You know, I remember him turning around and be like, I got it. Like he always gets his, his eyes get real big. I got it. I got it. And he was like, we about to do this. And he started showing, and we were in there like, oh, that's too, that's too crazy. I'm hollering again, I know. This is what she originally sent me to hear as a reference. Go ahead. I don't play anything, so everything's vocal. And I she try to, to stay good with these. I try to stay in the same key. Try. Gave me peace they can't take from me. I will trust and follow his will for me. Now I am not of this a little world. Can you see? Hey, can you feel it in it? It's good, yeah. So you, you can already feel the vibe a little bit. How, like, the, how can I show him? <laughs> all around me, total chaos. Mm -hmm. Seems your hands so far away. Mm -hmm. The winds and waves still will obey. Mm -hmm. They know your name, Jesus. <laughs> Call me out, Stop. gave me purpose. Mm -hmm. Stepping mm -hmm. out upon the surface. Mm -hmm. Security found on my Oh, knee. I did have a bridge. I'm locking mm -hmm. eyes with the one but, uh, because you that you changed the tag part on the, the overlap. Are you saying? I am. I'm doing. Show me mercy instead of justice. I'm holding on to the one who was before will be. Okay, pause. I got something to say. That's the end. On both ends of it. On a songwriter, artist, singer side of it. I love that she did this. I know we talked about, oh, she's beatboxing and stuff. That helped me so much to get inside of her head to, to see what she wanted. All those shh, shh, Cause it's like it. So I could feel 
but she, cause she might not have been able to put that into words to articulate to me what she wanted, but she was able to use sound effects, gestures, all those things matter. I know it might feel funny and strange, <laughs> but I do it all the time without even thinking about it. Cause I want somebody to understand what I'm saying that's put into words. And then on a producer side of it, you know, do your due diligence to learn the artist you're working with and what they're like, things are what they're like things that they always one thing for her she always does is she falls off notes when she finishes stuff all or the time. sings the note i'm about to sing yeah she, hates when I she needs a runway to get to the note i'm like just don't be afraid to sound stupid i felt stupid doing it and i know it does not sound the greatest but it got my point across and two i don't play an instrument but like i could tell lebron i think he even walked in today and i was like okay i hear these four notes, what numbers are these or like whatever. So when I sing things, if I hear what I know, the progression yeah. or the order of things, order yeah. of notes that I want yeah. underneath what I'm singing or a feel or Correct. a timing or something, I sing that anyway. Don't be afraid if it takes you a minute before you get to the producer to actually ask people that you're comfortable with. If you don't know them, you know, if I was working with somebody or wasn't comfortable with LeBron yet, I knew Josh Lynch. So I went to Josh and I was like, hey, help me get it to where I can take it to LeBron and get it done right. And it speeds the process up so, so much. You, it gets you down the road faster. Instead of having to sit there for the first hour trying to articulate what you want, you've done your homework, you can come in and say A, B, C, and D. Also, on the flip side again, if you're a producer, yeah. you know, and if you have, um, all you have is a couple toys. You might have one or two sounds. Make them sounds sound the best you can make them sound. Can I do a shameless plug real quick? Yeah, go ahead. I did that, what I sent him in GarageBand yeah. with no microphone. I figured out how to make tracks. I figured out how, to, and I texted him or called him. I was like, how do I do this? Because I wanted to learn something. I'm about to jump into a, a track with the Routing Rounds Academy, and I'm going to learn how to do all that in logic. Correct. And my stuff about to sound so crazy. He didn't go out to do nothing. Did you I'm see how she did it in Garage Band? And if you heard underneath it, there was like a little reverb in there. You heard effects and stuff. Yeah, I was know? just played around and I kept a little app on my phone with a keyboard and I just kept hitting the note For pitch. to make sure I'm in the right key still. The so there's time. no excuse. There's something that I use all the time. I use it mostly for my effects and like, uh, you know, cymbal swells stuff like that. But Splice is a, uh. is a and they, they're not paying me to say this, but they are a platform. It's like 10 bucks a month, 12 bucks a month yeah. that has unlimited sounds. If you're a songwriter and you need some type of key, some type of anything to get your idea out, yeah. grab it, drag and drop it into Logic, GarageBand, whatever you have, and you can write to it. Here's the track. Locking Eyes. The official release. Do you hear how dated these sounds sound? Really? Here's the verse. I should update this whole song. We should have a remix. I'm locking eyes with the one who gave me peace. They can't take from me. I will trust and follow his will for me. Now I am not of this world. Can't you see? Hey, Jesus Christ reigns in me as King. Oh, I like the Jesus part. If you want to hear the rest of it, you got to go to SoundCloud and hear the rest of the song. Yes, because you need to hear the bridge, the tag part that LeBron wrote at the end. So that was back in the day before. I mean, people sample all the time. I didn't I didn't know how to sample things back then. There's still something creatively that happens when you put your own touch on it that wasn't created from somebody else. Still find ways to be unique, find ways to be yourself, discover your own sound, become proficient. Uh, because back then we played everything you know what i mean so anyway that was locking eyes i hope you enjoyed it. if you want to hear the whole song go to our soundcloud you the can listen to it there. click the link it'll take you to all the stuff we have up there but we hope you enjoyed this episode of the journey i'm lebron Armand, and i'm jessica height see you next time
I said, fix the chill. Fix the chill. You'll be my lawyer in the courtroom. Hey! Yeah, fix the chill. You'll be my doctor in the sick room. Oh, fix the chill. Will you be? She said, fix the chill. Yeah, fix the chill. They say, on my way home. Oh, y'all say, what's up? That's not good. Said I'm on my way home. On oh, my way home. Yeah. Said I'm on my way home. Oh, on my way home. Tell me, homeboys, fix it. Fix it, G. Fix it like you said.